if you have like Venmo or something, I can. I, I'd be interested in possibly some of the the two games. I don't know how or much you were looking app. for. Oh, okay, I have that. Kicking off today's game hunting adventures with Cash America. Hopefully we'll have some good stuff this time. Let's go see what's happening. Hello. in this old PS3 game. Are you recording this? No. I'm just asking. Yeah. I just wear it when I'm out like running around, you know. I wouldn't be mad. I want to be a star. Oh, do you? Okay. Let me hit record real quick. <laughs> How much you want me to sell this PS3 game to you? Two bucks? I was thinking three. Three's fine with me? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You have a good day. May not look like much of a score, but it was a good one. Let's see how I did. Okay, so they didn't have a whole lot. And uh, one little bit concerning trend that I saw was they had a bunch of the games that they had loose on a spindle, which were pretty scratched up and I passed on several times. In sleeves marked at three bucks. So I can tell that uh, I don't think I'm gonna be getting quite as good of a price as I used to here, but I still get some pretty good deals every now and again. Case in point, Call of Duty Black Ops on the PS3. Now normally you would think, why would you want that? Simple reason is because I already have a completed box copy of Black Ops 2 on the PS3. So I have to combine it with this and I will get an extra credit from GameStop because I can trade in the double pack and I believe the double pack's worth like 14 bucks. So definitely worth a grab for three. So I think I spent six total and I'll be able to get about, about 13, 14 bucks in trading credit for it. So pretty happy. But yeah, not that big of a score, but that's okay. On to Value Pond, see what they got. Next stop is Value Pond. I've scored here the last few weeks. Let's see if that streak will continue. Let's go. Fishing.
all the consoles. Nothing crazy though. They learned from last time. Question for you. Thank you. You just said you're trying to sell stuff, right? Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was gonna say, um, if you have like Venmo or something, I can, I, I'd be interested in possibly some of the, the two games. I don't know how much you were looking for. Oh, okay, I have that. How much would you do for them? You can give me 40 bucks for both of them. Do like 35? That's 35? Done. All right, I got you, man. Take it easy. Score. I, I, I was waiting for a while, yeah. Hi. So, I'm interested in this. Could you do anything on it? Just a little bit? Even like a couple bucks would be great. It's like I'm here all the time, so. Okay, technically this game is actually, I can do 20 out, but as soon as I can do. Just because um, the game itself has a pre owned at 30. Okay. And there's still a new target at 60. Okay, you'll do 20 out the door? I can do, I can do that. 20 out the door, sounds good. Nah, it's it's okay. You I got sure? you. Yeah, yeah, I got you. No, it's okay. I appreciate it though. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Well, that was interesting. I'll go over what happened uh, in just a sec. Okay, so I gotta talk about what happened at Value Pond because that was an interesting situation. So first off, I was looking at their game section and I did find this. MLB The Show 22 on the Xbox One. Now, 
You might remember I picked this game up recently and got it for nine bucks. They apparently wised up because now it was priced at 20. Even at 20, this is still a good pickup because it trades in the GameStop for almost 30. So I can still get a $10 profit. And even though it says 20, I technically got it for a little over 18 because they knocked the tax off. So if you do the math, basically a little over 18. So I got it for basically 18 bucks and I'm gonna get like almost 30 out of it. The interesting part was there, as you saw, there was a guy who was trying to sell his Switch OLED in a couple games. And apparently he wasn't happy with the prices that the pawn shop was quoting. So he let, he was about to leave I pulled him aside and was like, hey, dude, like, I'm interested in those games if you'll sell them to me. He originally off asked for 40, which is not a terrible price. I got it down to 35. So essentially, I paid 1750 each for these. And when you see what they are, it's a pretty darn good deal. So for starters, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch. You already know this is the best game selling game of all time on the Switch. And I can trade this in the GameStop for $33. So essentially, this game basically pays for the other game and the other game is a game that i owned at one point but had to sell when i was unemployed but now i got it back for way cheaper than i originally paid super mario 3d world plus bowser's fury on the switch so yeah i got this game back to add to the collection got another game that i can sell at the GameStop for a nice price i'm pretty happy so yeah not every day that you buy a game from a guy trying to sell them at a pawn shop definitely something different all right it is time to do a recap of this past episode and uh this is gonna be a really short one because i only have one game left so went to a few places of course we found some interesting stuff and of course i will have traded in almost everything that i got in this video in the next episode so look for that but i did keep one game and this was one of the games that i picked up from the guy at the pawn shop so of course as a little recap there was a guy who was trying to sell his Switch OLED as well as a couple games to the pawn shop and they just were not giving the price he wanted. So as he was leaving, I pulled him aside and was like, hey dude, I'm interested in those games if you'll give them to me for a good price. Uh, he asked for 40, so 20 bucks a game. I asked for 35, he said yes. So I got both of them for about 17.50 a piece. One of which I traded in and then the other one I kept. And the one I kept, is Super Mario Bros. or Super Mario World 3D, 3D World plus Bowser's Fury on the Switch. I had this game before. I think I paid like 30 bucks for it. I paid even less this time. And this one is again, very mint condition, very, very clean. The guy said he hadn't even played it. So pretty happy to add that to the collection. Anyway, I paid $17.50 for this out of pocket and it is actually worth $38. So. Slam dunk pickup, glad to add this back to the collection. Uh, hopefully it'll stick around this time. I can't promise that, but hopefully it'll stick around this time. So yeah, and that's literally it. Uh, all I have at least left for this week. Kind of a shortish week, but we had some cool stuff. And again, not every day you find a random guy at a pawn shop who's blowing his sell use in games for a cheap price. So that was kind of fun. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of The Bargain Game Hunter. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. That way you know when new videos drop. And I will see you next week on another episode of The Bargain Game Hunter. Bye-bye.